Hi everyone, this is Jenny from Refresh Living and I'm just popping in quickly because I've gotten a lot of questions lately about how to specifically use paint, the paint program, to enlarge um, graphics, specifically lettering, um, especially I think to make signs. So I'm just going to walk through the process here um, because I think it might be easier to see than um, trying to read through um, my explanation in the post. So, um, if you have a uh, PC with Microsoft Paint is a program that's already installed on your computer. If you have a Mac, um, find a PC. I actually don't know how to do this on a Mac. So, um, and I used to own one, and I never, I never found a way that I really like to do. So, you might have to Google it or find someone with a PC and just borrow it. So, um, pull up the Paint program, and then you're going to open up the graphic that you have, or the lettering. Um, you can probably find these in lots of places. I know I have a graphics library where I, I put a lot of my graphics for free, but um, you can also design your own. I like using PicMonkey. It's my favorite one. I actually think I did use PicMonkey to make. Or, um, of course, if you have like Adobe Illustrator or another um, image editing software, that obviously works too. So here's my um, lettering, and the, all I'll need to do is go to File, and then um, go to Print, and hover over the little uh, arrow here, and you'll go to Page Setup. And then, once you're here, this is where you can change the size that it's going to print to. So right now you can see it's on one page here. And it's actually, because of the size of the image originally, it's just going to be half of that page. So if I needed to make it bigger, um, there's two different ways you could do that. You could go fit to, and you could say, let's say I want it on a 2 by 2. So that will actually be a 1, 2, 3, 4 page spread. Um, but because my image is only taking up half of that original page, it's actually only going to be about on two pages. So... Let's just say, I think I want this one. A good way to check is click OK. That's going to adjust it. And then go here to File, Print, Print Preview. And it's going to show you how it's taking up those four pages. So you can see it takes up those two. And then I think there's probably a little bit hanging off there, a little bit hanging off the edge onto that other page. Um, so basically what I do is I just eyeball it here to get the size that I want. So let me show you on this um, file page page setup page, how you can adjust um, the size with two other um, two other areas. So back to page setup here. You can change the, let's say I'm back on a one by one page. Um, you can change the orientation. So here with portrait, it's going to take up almost the whole page. If I put it to landscape, it would actually only be on half of it. So this will also um, can be adjusted to change how big it's going to be. And then you can also use this here, adjust to. Um, and it will change the size as well. So if we do 100%, that looks about right. Go to print preview and check to see um, how it's spanning across those pages. So most of it's actually just taking up one, two, three pages, it looks like, with some of the extras on the side. After printing it, um, I'll link to, at the end of this post, I'll link to how I transfer that graphic um, onto my sign to be painted um, and I'll also share some projects that I've used this technique for. If you like to DIY and decorate your home on a budget, um, be sure to follow along by clicking the subscribe button.